I think it takes a recognition of something that I've heard uh, Dr. Wes Ely at Vanderbilt talk about as the backside of clinical care, which is something that really resonated with me. So the front side of clinical of critical care is when you are in rescue mode. Someone's had a significant heart attack, they're in septic shock, they've been in a car accident, and all the best of critical care is coming to bear um, to save that person's life, which is incredible. But when that front side of critical care starts to come up over the hill, the rescue has happened, things are getting more stable, and now you're on to the backside. He, he calls it the backside of critical care. And that is the place where we really need to more critically look at, are these interventions helping or are they harming? Is this ventilator still really needed or is it not? Could we turn down the sedation? Could we get this person awake and alert more? Might that help deal with agitation? Then instead of dealing with agitation with sedation, could we get them up walking? In getting them up walking, might we wear them out so they're sleeping better at night? Could we get their sleep cycle back? And so I think the interdisciplinary team really has a critical role to work together to say, I think we're coming up over. You know, congratulations, everyone. This person is alive and stable. Now let's make sure that we're not worsening things on the backside.